is going to be where we go. FaZe have invested Nipple in the first map. Let's see what Great Company have to offer on Nuke. And we're going to let the music drive us right on in with Harry Russell's sweet undertone somewhere along the line. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> we got Rain. He's gone outside. Yeah. Now that, that's a nice P250. Rain, oh, and he's putting it to good use as well. Rain's a man of class, you know. He's got a, he's got a nice little arsenal that he's sitting on. And <laughs> he's sitting on what? A nice little what, Harry? <laughs> Didn't realize that one till it came on Hammer's, out, but. Hammer's got 99 in one by Rain outside. Just one. Yeah. Oh, well, plop, skeet. And Rez gonna deal with Rain and his nice P2. This little crossfire of cold and broke. He put up the kills needed to keep this in the advantage of phase. It's threat all alone in a 1v3. But he's got a smoke and a kit, and that is a recipe for a ninja to use if you've ever seen one. Let's see. Come on, Thready boy. Let's bring the heat here. He's waiting outside of the site. Gets spotted by the player at ramp. And he's dead. So Brokey locking it in with three. Phase, get in the pistol. Good stuff. Uh, other than a win versus Spirit just the other day, three days ago for FaZe, in a series they lost two to one. Uh, other than that one map on Nuke, the FaZe one, they are on a six loss streak. So I guess I really manipulated the statistics there. But yeah, Nuke has been a bit of a, ooh, a rough place for FaZe. Obviously, this is a very difficult group, right? Their opponents have been Mouseport, Astralis, Fnatic. So, you know, teams that on a face value or name value, FaZe should be able to compete with, but compete with, they did not. Force up for Nip. It's not like they're nuke veterans either. Not right now. Twisted shows those outside smokes just a minute ago. And boy, they're going to be needed, especially for FaZe coming down early and going towards lower width. And Rez is waiting in the wings. Oh, he sees a face. And he's going to try and take it off, but the CZ spray is not the best. Brokey's going to get that kill. Threat back up the vent, avoiding death. Twist trying to finish the job. Brokey's so low with a load of utility. All of the grenades for FaZe. And so his departure would be a big issue. Twist <laughs> falling through the sky Who with the he? shot to Kiebi. It's crazy stuff as NIP set up for what will be a retake. Yeah, they've been able to get it into this three on three. I don't know how. Twist is like from Wanted or the Matrix or something. And now we got Threat moving in to control. He's here with that 5-7, looking to put it to good use. But his two teammates coming in from ramp, they need Threat to draw the attention in. And so that's what he might look to do here, dancing around between window and the double door. Now making his presence known. Plopski going to get the better of Rain. Two players tucked in over here oh, in dark. Yeah. They know that Brokey's here as well, and he's not able to hold the line. It is a force by victory for NIP. This has happened in every single pistol on both maps now. He's got it. You can make some sense of it, please. No, it's impossible. Oh no, man, you're always the you're always the voice of Raisin. Raisin, yeah, dude. <laughs> voice of Raisin. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I've got nothing to make of that one, Harry. Look at this shot from Twist. Look at the second kill. Or maybe yeah, it is. It is. The yeah, yeah, it's this kill. one. Look. Look at this. He hits them with. Ha oh. <laughs> ha! Psych. <laughs> Oh dear! Well, yeah, he hit a drop shot onto. Yeah, Kiabi, it was it sick. Was. You'll just have to take our yeah, word yeah. for it. Believe us, trust me. We we what we were watching, even if you weren't. Right, phase forcing. Welcome to the party. If you missed the uh, previous map, this is all we saw. Forces back and forth for both sides. NIP often won the wars, but we're actually left bad and bruised, and poor as a result. Cold flashing into A. Yeah, straight out. He won't check the back vent, though. Popsky gets away with one. Threat is yet to be spotted. He's yet to be seen, but he'll fall into Brokey. And uh, Brokey doubles up. Three with a Galil. Lovely stuff. He's going to have to ace clutch, though. One on two. Main smoke has a big gap. Brokey jumps under it, over it, rather, and drops down under to B. Plant will be allowed. The hunt is coming through for NIP. Hampus in the vent. Twist joining him late. Plant is in. Does Brokey go back? The door is still wide open. He's not even looking at it, considering Ramp shutting the door. Hampers gonna have to make some noise now, and he does straight into the gunfight. Brokey wins a one-on-one. -on -one. Ten and one, looking to clutch out with the ace. It's just twist. Same position, late to the party. Brokey waits. He's patient, but timing is everything. Looking away and then getting re-peaked. That's a sad round for Brokey. Great effort, but he can't put it over the line. The force for phase falls back. Brokey versus Nip, who would have thought?
He needed the ace to win that round, didn't he? So it's not like they're asking a lot of him. Hey, look, it's an ESCA ad. And I tell you what, ESCA is pretty lit. Hugo, we often find ourselves roaming the servers late at night. Yeah, very late at night. Like 3 a.m., real gamer hours. You'll be surprised at the amount of pro players that are also on the real gamer hour schedule. Be like 5 a.m. and you'll come up against, you know, I don't even know, man, like... Bays. Yeah, literally. That's what it feels like sometimes. <laughs> Especially with these 1Ds, Nico. Destroying hampers. Fast down B. Phase have reinvested again. They're going to go quick down the ramp room. Twist trying to stall. Phase won't drop lower, though. They've got this control, and they'll ha hang on to it. Man advantage. They know they've adjusted NIP's rotations. So they're going to continue to mess with them. Nico dropped by the org outside. Res goes back to hell. Bobski's watching from the locker side. And Phase, they could just go right up the ladder. They're stopping them, but they go for the fight, and they will come to regret it. Kills all in the favor of the Swedes. Two up, one up, and it's Brokey again. Look Not going to be an ace, but he needs a one on four. Look at where the bomb dropped as well. It fell out the oh. window. Like, how is that even possible? Brokey, he's got to offer up something special here. And Rez holding down CT. Well, Brokey is going to spot him, but he can't win that fight. So NIP, they find two back to back. They're feeling good now. They're, they're kind of getting excited by the prospect of FaZe finally having to take an eco. I mean, actually, wait, that'd be three in a row, wouldn't it? Well, the back-to-back -back four spies from FaZe. Yes, indeed. And then back again. Also, all of FaZe, excluding Brokey, sitting on four kills. Brokey with 11. <laughs> One man army right now. He was the top performer of Mirage as well. Him and Nico were looking good. Uh, NIP not wanting to give away this series in two. They want to bring us to Inferno. Where every good series ends, but will this be a good series? Oh, we have to wait and see. Will FaZe make things competitive? Probably not in this round. Pistols outside. Popsky with a deep nade. Not bad at all. Amper's about to get the info that FaZe are just around the corner. There's the flash and the peak. Yeah, he dodges it. There's definitely a few outside. NIP have realized that at least. Hampus goes a little too far, and Nico takes off his head. His Ds have looked crispy indeed, but cold. Made quick work of. More nades onto Rain. He's down to eight. Three Ds versus the rifles. Ooh, uh, uh. Wait, where's he gone? What? No, man, that's unreasonable. Rain, the shadow teaser. But he gets what he deserves. Rez going to go ahead and deal with him, leaving Nico all alone. But he does get some quick revenge for Raid onto Rez. Nico, <laughs> seen this Deagle deliver. He's got a mouse sports sticker of old, back when it was Nico Sports on this weapon. What's he going to be able to do? Need him to roll back the years here. 15 seconds, so he needs that bomb plant, and this A site is the furthest thing to clear threat. Gonna best him in the head-to-head. -head. NIP, they take a fourth, they deal with the Deagles. It's pretty damn costly, though. And so if you're phased, you're gonna take that. Those nades were beautiful outside, they really were. Also, Rain with the cheeky little shadow swivel. That was just a very weird round where phase way outside. They get a lot of value from those pistols, but now it's up to the guns. Smoke's outside. Yeah. Crossing is Rez, not just crossing. He's pushing through the smoke with the flash. Nico blind and Rez, he had an opportunity, he had a chance, but he misses the shot. Nico tucks behind cover, late smokes for phase. Got to get past Rez though, Nico knows it. He does almost nothing. Rez tucks back safely into main with the door blown off. They have to care about A, but FaZe are about to make this blindingly clear with the smokes coming down outside. No fake about it. They're crossing behind. Oh. As you expect, Twist with a random shot through the smoke kills Nico. FaZe aren't going to be committing to lower. They're mollying heaven, and they're going to be coming in through main. Fast and furious. Propsky on top of the silo. They're actually wrapping deep as well. Rain's going CT with the bomb on his back, climbing up above.
Oh, there's a gap. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Twist with a second through a smoke, but this time he could see Cold Zero. Rain needs this kill, and they're coming in from below as well. Kiebi in the lobby. Popsky's pushed hot, and this has all fallen apart for phase. It's all been too little and too late. Brokey caught in main. Rain spotted Hellside as well. Nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, and they're pouncing him outside. Popsky. Oh, dear. Rain does get the shot eventually, but now he's pinched, and Rez is going to take him down. Free AK upgrade and a 5-1 lead. NIP in control. Well, that third map of Inferno might be possible after all if NIP can keep this up, right? And that is exactly what we wanted. Roki going aggressive, but the flashes are good, and Hampus just rushes them down. He's in with three. Now, for FaZe, it's back to the drawing board here. They've been churned up in this, uh, this partial investment. What are they drawing? At this point, mate, I don't even know. <laughs> I couldn't tell you. I don't know how to solve it. I don't know what the problem even is, but they're just getting annihilated right now. Honestly, like, FaZe, they, they play a lot of nuke, like a, a lot of nuke. And even though like they went through this kind of like period of making the games pretty close, as of late, it feels like it's turned into a pretty sour map for them. You know, they were finally able to pick up a win the other day versus Team Spirit. That's actually a pretty sick victory to get, honestly. Ooh, other, other than that, right? Like, you know, yeah. they, they've got losses versus like Fnatic, Maus, Vitality, Heroic, Big. <laughs> Anyone else? Or... Flexity. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. Any more? That's it in the last few months, at least. It's like in uh, Happy Gilmore when Adam Sandler is beating up Bob Barker and Sam Pitt. Perhaps you guys are a little young for that one, but. No, man, I watched Happy Gilmore just a long while ago. Ooh, oh, Nico, my. though. That's sick. Happy Kilmore, more like. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's only one, isn't it? Six on the board for NIP. Nico's the king of getting like one kill outside and then losing the round. It's just enough of a kill, right? You're like, oh, well, he's about to go on one right here. Nope. Ah. NIP, they've been, they've been good at, you know, knowing when to peel off when things get a bit dangerous. They, you know, they have gone for these fights outside. That's not even going for a fight, by the way. You're playing CT, you're getting one D. Like, come on. Yeah, exactly. I can't see um, <laughs> But, yeah, NIP have been doing a good job of, of like, peeling back and not over-aggressing in the yard when FaZe have been waiting with these pistols. But now, FaZe, this is it. You've got another buy. You've got to do something with it. It's, it's about time. NIP... They cross a player to see. Grampus is in a, a great position with Rez drawing attention. He's on the AWP as well. Uh, worth noting, when we saw Twist or primarily, primarily uh, in this team, he would never play it on Nuke. He would always give it over. And so that's somewhat holding true now. It's not Hampus taking it, it's Rez. Obviously, at one point, donning this weapon as the main man. And now back in the hand, it's going to go for a shot outside. Boost up for Nico. Yeah, I'm liking I'm liking how much free flowing fluidity we're seeing on this oh, AWP. Free flowing fluidity. Yeah, now. maybe too many yeah, Triple F. That's it. Save your Fs for FaZe Clan. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was not a bad one. You know, you gotta respect him, Trace, obviously, is where I'm going with that. Yeah. Sure, man. It's your hole that you've dug, and now you will wallow in it. Here's a bigger <laughs> shovel. Help yourself. Campus caught in secret, and he's about to have the lineup of the Ooh. century. If he can just hold this line, he's got a T-sided red on lock. Yeah, he breaks his silent, was about to go 0 and 7, now 1 and 6 with the entry into A. Hampus has a dirty one way, flash back out, but Cold had just re peeked into the angle, and Twist is running. They're going to hear this. Kirby's waiting for it, and he has the shot. Does he expect threat as well? Oh dear, Kirby turning his attention. Legend. Threat with the drop. Oh, it almost gets dropped, but he takes it instead. The quick shot from Rez won't connect. Eight seconds for this plant, and Cold has already killed Threat on that lobby lurk, so they won't be able to stop the bomb plant. Rez outside with a save. He does take one down with him. Does that tempt him anymore? More. Just do it. Do it to him. Come up. Just wall bang him right here, man. Yeah, he's... I've seen nothing do it. Why can't you do it? I'm just kidding. Welcome back, everybody, to the ESL Pro League. 
take a little bit of a different turn here. As FaZe put a second up on the board, showing us that they do have a little bit of life left still in them. A little gas in the tank. A little petrol in the bank. Harry, what you think? Yeah, Ma, I mean, you know, it's it's early days. Two on the board for FaZe. And uh, they're up against the guys who slay NIP. Of course. They've, uh, they've been able to keep this in their favor thus far. That's the thing, NIP aren't like a bad nuke team, right? It's not a map that they lean into like uh, an incredible amount, and it's not one that their stats look incredible on either. So I know I haven't set this up well, but in every one of those games that they've played, it's always been very, very close. If you remember back at Cologne, we had yeah, that, yeah. that NIP big, big game. Big NIP game. Yeah, that How can we ever forget the big it went, game? It went... Well, Trace, you weren't here for this one. You no, I was. Out. I you was here, out. but I wasn't well, here. Well, okay, yeah, you weren't on the desk. You missed out on that 54-round belter of a new game. Oh, no, I watched the entire yeah. thing. And uh, and that's the thing, you know, like they were able to close that out eventually. And then they've gone on to play a few other teams here in the Pro League. You know, they lost narrowly to Complexity and Mouse Sports on this map, 13-16 in both of those. And it's like, you think about it, and those are good nuke teams that you're up against, yeah. right? So, you know, I, I think that NIP fielding a, a good half thus far, is kind of to be expected because you know even though phase they play this map like in every series they can it's not one that the results look very good on at all no we were actually talking about this though coming into this game off camera as well phase if you look at the numbers if you look at the stats for every map their highest win percentage out of the seven map pool is 33 percent oh. that just that's not great right now and oh they're gonna get a messy entry out a Cost them rain. Molly comes in late. Cold is out the hut as well. There's a player in heaven. He's got to deal with threat on the lobby luck. Again, he could catch the bomb. Broke, he's trying to find it in the smoke and he gets out alive. Threat in a great position to do damage here. Dodging the flashes. Phase yet to cross. That smoke giving threat room, but he doesn't want to run the gun. He wants to wait. He's still got plenty of teammates up as well. He's now out by the vent. That heaven smoke. That could have been something to work with here for Nib. Yeah, they're just going to fake the bomb plant, draw a little bit of utility. Just trying to spot where everyone's from now. With threat peaking, he gets a lot of information, even though he doesn't get the kill. It's Rez with the trade, oh. and Hampus can chime in as well. Over a minute, or just under a minute, rather. And Brokey's got it all to do. One on three. Spots the player in the hut. Knows there's one in heaven. And Rez just peeking and eventually getting the kill for Mini. Great info from Threat, right? As you say, he gets the peek. He sees two on the site. He knows there's a third planting because they've already heard him upper. And then because of that info, he calls to Hampus, like spam the box, uh, spam the hut. He's by the box. Hampus gets the immediate trade on the close player. And then even Hampus spamming at the end, it does damage to Brokey moving off. So that slows him down, stops his movement. Rez hits the shot. Again, like Threat, he's not like dropping 30 kills, but he's finding ways to have impact in this game, and that's great to see. And Hugo, let's be honest right there. That whole squeaky door situation in that round could have went horribly south. Yeah, and it might get worse here on out. Fast out A. Oh, Rez with a flick shot. They're actually a man down still, and Rain has made it worse. Twist does catch Nico on the ramp plug, but again, phase in A. This time with a plant, it's gone a lot better than before. The retake is on, NIP on the clock. Oh, but cold with his tech nine. Going to make quick work of Hampus. This is phasing with the third. And the fast A play works wonders. I would love to see, like, FaZe just call in a more, a more aggressive style, full full stop, right? Like, a lot of these rounds have culminated with, like, these very slow outside plays that, that come into, like, pushing in the final 30 seconds. And it feels like NIP are just whittling them down every single time they try and head outside. And then, like, in these times where we've seen FaZe maybe pick up the pace a little bit, that's where they found a lot of these successes. You know, not giving NIP time to get a read on the situation, figure out what's going on. If you just hit them while they're in that early default phase, are finding a lot of success from it. So now we got the AWP in Brokey's hands. Big fan of that. He's taking it ramp side and he's looking for a peak, but NIP are pushing this side of the map with two players. They even drop a man down into B. 
out of the gate. Now, FaZe already losing a player early on. They're trying to deal with Hampus, who still let loose outside here with this M4. Broki didn't find anything at ramp, and NIP, they haven't actually pushed it just yet. Res down here in the vent. Come up a little bit later, and Plopski catching Kirby with the MP9. Oh, dear. Rez is here. Smoke down, but he can be a real nuisance in the vent if they drop and the bomb given to him with a gun. They don't even realize. No one even reacts. And Rez gets the bomb and the round under his control in the palm of his hand. Cold. One on four. Molly in the door. No getting out there for free. And not even the ramp flank to give him a way back in. Threat has pushed, but not given up the kill. He's hiding in the trophy room. They don't know where Cold is. And they're giving him the room, knowing that bomb is lost. This is such a difficult situation to sort out for Cold. What can he possibly do? Getting out into A, but no one's close. Time is ticking, 30 on the clock. Threat's pushing Lobby now. He's got that flank into, uh, into play, and now they know that Cold might be out in A. Twist is going to be ready, aware, holding, and he's hit the shot. NIP, 8-3. Great CT sided hold, like you said, Harry. Kind of what we expected from NIP here. They they put up one hell of a fight, but Phase Man, back to the door, back to death. They've done it three times in a row. Only one of them working out. I'd love to see Phase go back outside, man. Think about the D grounds for Nico. Uh, Think about the the impact they've had there. I know me and you have very differing opinions on that one, yeah. there, Hugo. Why is that, Harry? I just don't think these outside rounds have been convincing at all. I think, you know, that's normally where the problems start, and then they have to try and change it up. You know, I think you need to be challenging outside, because otherwise Hampus is just kind of taking it away from you, like he's done that again, right? He definitely needs someone here. But I don't know if these slow outside crawls are really doing FaZe too many favors. I don't know, you know, there, there's always a chance that... Uh, that's it, that's it, they're back in with a fast A play. Now, I'm a big fan of these, but it's fake. not a fake. Uh, sorry, it is a fake, rather. And now they head into the ramp, and they do get past wow. Twist. But my word, have they sustained some casualties along the way. He's done enough. He's done just enough. That leaves Cold Syrup and Nico in a really rough spot. He could potentially get this bomb planted, but Hampus is going to be able to swing open that door as soon as he hears it. And with a window broken, he could even sneak out. Very wary, Nico and Coldzera find themselves. Trying to find the appropriate avenue into the site. Now Nico's going to take this fight. Hampus probably jumped out of his chair on that one. Yeah, Nico can plant, but oh dear, there's no cover. Ooh, uh, Cold looks away. Now he looks back, but Nico still dropped on the plant. Oh, no That's point. a dangerous one. Oh dear, now just Cold in a clutch. One on two in the site. Threat's coming in on the back line. Cold hunting the kill. He might just have it, but Threat winning the one-on-one -on -one against Cold Zero. Lovely stuff onto NIP. And Harry, I want to go back to that discussion because uh, the reason yeah. I say it, well, there's two reasons. One, uh, the, the Deagle rounds of FaZe have played slow, have at least come up with kills. And two, when you go outside, there's so many ways. We see good nuke teams all the time now. There's so many ways to take outside. It's not just coming down to, oh, throw the same red cross smokes and go secret. Now we, we see the secret takes and then fakes back to A with Kiebi lurking lobby. We can see those wide smokes that FaZe do know that land towards main, allowing you to get garage control. There's so many different ways you can take that outside control right. and use it against NIP. Let's see, Let's see right? They're going to try and run the gauntlet here outside, and they might be able to get down. Plopski oh. is back here. And the smoke's oh, man, running just... perfect. They do get down. They've got an into B. Hugo, you might be on to something after all. Let's Maybe. see. Here come the rotations. They're fast. Plopski out in the open. Gets a lot of damage off. But only one kill. Threat him with another. And we're into this three on three. It's gotten a little bit silent now down on the B site as FaZe temporarily halt this progress. They try and go back, and they're getting wrapped from secret. Now, Brokey has darted up the vent to come in with an A-side plan. But Hampus is already considering this and has rotated into main early. He hears that bomb going down. He could have caught a time in there. But because they didn't know that Kirby was still down on B, his peak comes in a little bit late. Rez pushing in through the ramp room. Brokey holding for it already. And this has gotten very, very awkward for NIP. Hampus is waiting for this fight. Timing is everything now, and he does get bested by Kirby. Left on to Rez, who has dealt with Brokey back in the lobby. Now just uh. Kirby left to beat. Smoke on the bomb to try and bait a peek. He's even tapped it, and he's really sold oh, this dear. fake, but he misses the spray. Drops, That's flashes. It. Kirby oh. to the kill, and Faze fine for the outside play.
A prescription provided by Hugo B. Byron, our resident doctor, has worked wonders here. But not actually, so don't take medical advice from him. However, he was on to something there, Harry. Yeah, man, I got to give it to him. Hugo, you asked for it. You got it. There it is, man. New yeah. coach of phase incoming, right. assistant coach, Dianko. New assistant to the assistant coach of phase. Now that would be, that's a, that's that's a, a title move right there. If you board the Titanic, you know, halfway through its uh, journey, <laughs> I wouldn't. What? I don't know, there's a joke no. in there. Yeah, somewhere in there. Figure it out. Fast A again for FaZe. This time they're collapsing, they're crushing. And NIP with threat at the back of the site puts up a double off the 5-7. FaZe looking for five. Some of your better work, you <laughs> Thanks, dude. Oh, dear. Uh, we'll revisit oh, this in just a moment, because Rez don't. and Twist <laughs> on for Ooh. the 2v3. Oh. They dealt with Brokey. Double up in the retake. We often say this ain't ideal. But right now, NIP. They're looking to make the deal anyway. Smoke down here. Over towards main. Nico's pushed through it, but this could give a kill over. Half the time ticked off the bomb. If NIP were ever going to go for this, they need to be making a move, and it does just look like it will be this save for the Swedes. There's the kill to Nico, but with no kits, there's just no time. So Cold is going to get this one in the bag. And yeah, Hugo, you're actually related to the Titanic, aren't you? The, yeah, the ship, actually. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm related to the <laughs> ship. He was a great, great, great brother of mine. You know, just really old. Like, as a really good brother? Or just yeah. Like... No, just really, yeah, it, great in both ways. <laughs> I don't even want to go down that rabbit hole. I, mean, I don't want you to hold me accountable for the words that leave my mouth. Really left your, uh, really left you hanging out there, didn't it? Yeah, maybe. Better than really let you down to the uh, depths. God. You know, I want to, I want to believe in Phase, but if Nico doesn't believe in Phase, if he is actually leaving, then well, I mean, maybe like Harry said in the pre-match, that could be a good thing for Phase at this point if they bring in a different in-game leader. Whole another discussion. Um, I was going to make a point. It was about Rez, and the point was, man, it's a shame there's like 15 orpers on this team because I'd love to see more of this from Rez. Look again, uh -oh. missed shot though. He's not doing me justice. He's already dead. I may have jinxed the man. And Reigns followed up through the smoke as well, catching yeah. Hampers. Shame to yeah. see. Phase finding six though potentially. That's what they're gunning for at the end of the half. But Rez has been on, a, on another one. 19 and 7. Really, really good in this game up until I, I, I broke him. And uh, FaZe, they're breaking NIP. They're looking for a sixth round. It should just be offered up. Popsky with a shotgun. Not the range for it, but he gets away with a kill. AK dropped. This would be one hell of a clutch. Yeah, it's plain sailing now down through these murky waters at the B-bomb site. And you know, FaZe, they are wandering with the iceberg lettuce. Uh, <laughs> They've been able to get in regardless. Oh, will Plopsky pass? It doesn't look like it. Collision course was just inevitable. And we're going to be going to a break, which is also inevitable. You know that the wrap up is here, and we're going to be coming right back. That's the fan cams. You know how to get there. And we'll be right back with some more phase plan action. Say we got clips. Got we bout to make it a movie. Action. I make a hit I can't miss. Damn, the charts might sue me. Hey. The way I be stacking my chips. Stack it up. Probably the bank gon' sue me. Oh. Watch your man go dumb, gon' stupid. Cause your man's can't uh, fool uh, me. I'm a country commando. Yeah. Pulling up with clips, extendo. <laughs> That's no game, Nintendo. Ooh. I don't ever run out of ammo. <laughs> I'm gon' need me a banzo. Dun. 
No fake friends, no pretend, no. Yeah. Think I might've found my ten, ho. Yeah. Post it up in my tent, ho. Yeah. Uh, watch your man go dumb, go stupid. If you're the best, then prove it. Yeah. Uh, got no words, be quiet, stay moving. I got a bag, won't lose it. Yeah. Uh, watch your man go dumb, go stupid. If you're the best, then prove it. Yeah. Uh, got no words, be quiet, stay moving. I got a bag, won't lose it. Make it to a third map and not lose what is the decider of last place for the ESL Pro League EU season 12. My name's Trace. Alongside of me is Harry Russell and Hugo Byron. But more so, Hugo Byron. Hey, thanks for having me. Hey, no problem. And you know, we just kind of wanted to extrapolate and expand on some of the comments you said in the first Ooh, half. No, let's not but do that. We could also stray away from that. Good idea. Now, you could steer clear of the iceberg or you could go right into it. What's it going to be? I don't know, man. I'm just going to close my eyes and hope for the best here. That's what, uh, <laughs> that's what the doctor has prescribed. It's oh, a bit okay. of a fast ramp. Cold, he's going to drop B as well. He wants out of this. He wants nothing to do with it. And a smoke on one side to buy himself a bit of a gap. He's going to go inside of it. Not going for the fight. Trying to body block. They're going to overrun him. Yeah, they knew where he was. There wasn't much imagination left there for NIP. A bomb plant on B. A pissed around looking good. Phase with full armor on the retake. Oh, dearie me. Quite the calamity. Calamity ensues. Hilarity, perhaps after. Oh dear, Rain, he's out past the Molotov. There's a player above him. Nico's got a shot as well. No way Faye's gonna get this retake. Surely not. Time is ticking, but Brokey is clicking, and he's got the kill as well. They actually do it. Wow. The Mad Lads in the B-bomb site. A man down. No kit required. It should be fine for Faye's. Oh, calculated, Hugo. Uh, not even close, Trace. Not even remotely close. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm impressed. FaZe get that done, right? Obviously, the molly for threat, I like the idea there, but it comes in a bit late, and, you know, Rain pushes right in front of it. That opens the wormhole for FaZe as they overrun the B-bomb site. NIP were playing heavy in the secret, and that was no secret. Force up for NIP. They did this back on Mirage. We've had Force by Wars uh, in every half, the start of which in this series. FaZe... They won their T-Pistol, and IP immediately won the second, as was tradition in mm. both of the previous maps. Yes. Well, oh, sorry, both of the previous pistols in the previous map. We got there in the end. Mm, yes. Mm, yes. Mm. Yeah. Look at this, Hampus. Parkourist by nature, but not by name. Otherwise, he'd be ham parkourist. And so here he is up on top of main. They try and get across outside. And they're, they're kind of still alive. They're kind of still kicking. And actually, they do beat Brokey. Surely, we don't have more force by wars, yeah. Hugo. Surely not. Don't call me Shirley. Oh, it's getting close. Trades back and forth. Now just two for FaZe. Somehow, some way, NIP have continued the curse. It has not been lifted. This load has been dropped on the head of FaZe, and it's crushing them. Threaten heaven with a bomb. 
and double ramp for phase this is a done round right like they've lost a i don't see them retaking with cold on 10 health maybe they'll have a look and give it a go but good luck what a weird game this is four pistol rounds for phase in this series four second rounds for nip in this series they've done it to him every single time Why they got to do them like that? It's kind of remarkable, isn't it? Yeah. I've never seen it happen like this. Every single pistol round. But hey, there's a first time for everything. And then there's even more times after that. Times are tough for FaZe. The economy not being nice to them. And $1,500 a player is not where you want to be. NIP wielding these AKs. This is a big reason why. Obviously, they've done it on both halves. Um, but NIP, they love their second round AK buys if they get the bomb plant and the pistol, right? Get two or three rifles, wreak havoc, couple of individuals shining. That's what's put NIP in this position right now. Ten rounds and looking for a better T side than phase that might be achievable at this point. Despite it being FaZe's map pick, they're broke here. This could and should be 11 for Nip. They're going to run outside once again. Late smoke's being lined up, so they cross to red, but they'll go no further until those ones land. Nico going to try and put a stop to things. The, oh, the unison on those smokes, man. Like, perfectly attuned. The threat is like the, the dance mum of NIP, and he's like got them all well drilled on these timings. And step one. And now this B play can come through for Nip. Phaser none the wiser, but they have preemptively put bodies here. Brokey being one of them. The other gonna find himself over towards control, and that's Rain. He's gotta somehow dig phase. Ah, well, instead, it's actually just the bomb plant for NIP with five alive. And the only action that could come in is maybe like, maybe cold at ramp can get something. Maybe Nico holds for twist, moving out a secret, but these are the only fights that are gonna be offered up to the FaZe Clan as NIP charge forward onto an 11. Yeah, but right there, like is another example of, of a different outside take. We sometimes, you know, top teams like Astralis and stuff, they'll, they'll go outside, not 15 rounds in a row, but as many times as they can, because it's just such a great position on this map. And, Right there, like even though phase rotate too lower, they don't actually know what NIP have done. They just they just see the smokes. That's all they see in the round, and five players sneak behind them. NIP deny all the information. And to be fair, when when phase tried to cross behind red smokes, there were deaths to spam. You know, I remember Twist from Hell killing Nico through the smoke. So there's always risks with every kind of play, but the reward is what NIP get out of that round, an eleventh. And FaZe's money still yet to be built up as well. Well called T-Side to begin, but we're early days. We're going to see what FaZe can do about putting a solution into the mix. Zeus on Brokey. His guns saved for FaZe. NIP back with the outside smokes, but they're not committing this time. Nico with his smoke spam revenge, but now FaZe know that it's not a lower play, not through outside at least. It might still be on B, but NIP have to take you through the ramp room. Cold is late here. He's left to help outside. That's given a lot of room to the Swedes. He's here at the right time to put a stop to them, but he misses his shot and Twist follows up. Now B is open. Yeah, Nico getting here nice and early though. He does get bested by Threat, who could get caught by Brokey. That's USP him out of the round, and now has an M4 to play Ooh. with. Rain sneaking through the decon Hello. smoke. Puts a couple of deeg shots in the head of NIP. And somehow, some way, FaZe on that... I, I was going to say partial investment, but it wasn't even that. It was literally just the saved guns and then like a deagle. And then that was the extent of the buy. They're able to find themselves another. As they now put eight on the board. One of the other reasons I love Threat is that his name is Bjorn. And there needs to be more Bjorns in Counter-Strike. Bjorn to frag. Bjorn to frag. Feeling Bjorny. These are all 
These are all phrases. Threatening indeed. It's the threat that we need, and he's back with the Deeg. Sat in the lobby. Hampus has already crossed. Nico had no idea he'd made it down already. Lovely stuff. Brokey with the orb outside. Needs to put a stop to things, but Rez perfect peaks him. Man, Rez on the orb has just been nuts today. This is crazy stuff. Rain gets peaked by Plopsky. He was waiting for the secret fight. Not one up close. And now the A attack comes. Kierbi only with one. And it's all on Cold Zero, who is a long way away. Heaven mollied. And outside taken. Hampus crossing. He's got the kill onto him, but Cole might just want to save off the back of that. Might be his best cool hang around for exit. And like, yeah, you know, I'm going to keep going back to it because it is really nice to see. Nork, great orper, wish him well. Twist, giving up the primary weapon. Hampus has even taken it on maps like Inferno for NIP, the third map of the series that NIP are trying to get there. We will see Hampus on B with that orp, especially in the double orbs. But right now it's Rez reaping the reward, taking names, decimating with this weapon. He's known to be a bit of an orper in his time, but... Yeah, it's been, a, it's been a long time since we've seen it in his hands. It's a great success. 12 rounds for NIP. Phase. Once again, just waiting for loss bonus. That's all they've got. I don't know, man. Getting to Inferno feels inevitable at this point oh, in yeah, time, absolutely. doesn't it, right? Like, NIP, they're looking real good. They're responding well. Phase, while well, they've been able to upset, like, in one or two of these rounds... Their, their, their money's just always been in a really rough spot. And now, like CT side, this late in the game, the danger with your money always being in this place is that you can just get run down at the end of the half. Like, you can have your economy reset, then you finally, you know, you have to wait around, you get a buy, you reset again if you lose that. And then suddenly, like, the game's over before you even really feel like you've got to play a half of Counter-Strike. Now, to say there's a gap in that smoke is an understatement. It's more like there's a smoke slightly in the way of that gap. And somehow <laughs> Hampus actually still has gotten down. Twist as well is already out by the CT vent. That could spell disaster for Kirby if he gives any more of a hint. They do catch Hampus down here on the lower flank. Rain tagged by Twist, but not quite finished off. And so a four on five right now as FaZe are trying to reclaim some ground here. Yeah, I love that the, the tucking procedure has come back into play there for the game. Just duck your head, stay low, keep moving. Shoot, move, communicate, and kill. That's the name of the game. Speaking of which, it's going to be Cold Sarah set up here at ramp. He's about to have some friends or foes, depending how you look at it. It's a threat nonetheless. So he concedes ramp room, falls back down, lowers not on the cards just yet for Nib. But with Rez outside, there's the opportunity to, to pinch into upper. Albeit a good crossfire set up from Rain and KRB. Yeah, that molly slowed them down as well. Now, Threat does have a Molotov, and oh, the timing on this is brilliant, but he's decided against it. That could have been Rain forced out into the open, but instead he's given free Rain to absolutely lock this one in for FaZe. Well, well, well. Rain on the board, and that's such a shame. Not like it was communicated that now nah, we'll just flash it instead, and then we'll go, and that is a decision they are going to come to regret. And plus there's something about, you know, like just standing in Molotovs and fighting. It's just... It's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, man. The thing that's so rough about that, right, is like if you're if you're an IP, you really need to to be forcing an engagement there because what ended up happening is is like they walk into the site, but they're just walking into like the preset crossfires between phase, and so that's exactly what phase wanted if they were going to win that round. And like the only way you can kind of navigate that is either by like a stellar individual performance or by using utility to force those crossfires to become a liability for phase. And the molly at the CT event is like one of the most perfect variations of that because it forces the player out into the eyes of the guys in squeaky without them ever having to be open to main vent you know rafters hut like you, you negate all of that and you just force him into your crosshair on your terms and so that's a bit heartbreaking that that molly didn't come through but you know we can we can forget about it you know you're still in the yeah. lead if you're an ip you've still come in with a force by here in round 22. Of course, you talk about taking aggressive angles, and that's exactly what Rez has done here. The timing isn't going to work out for Broke. He just unscopes. He sees the wall of smokes. Nico comes up from secret and starts to examine this for himself. A little bit of an investigation. He starts to tap away, but it's Hampus. It really dampens Nico's 
lifeline in this round. KRB on a fast flank could spell disaster. It smells like it. However, the quick drop is there for Nip. They should be able to get a plan out of this, unless KRB is just too quick, but they know. They know that he's already in the vents. So this element of surprise is compromised. But you got to get the kill. It's kind of how that works. Bomb gets planted for Nip. Twist on 24 HP. Clear line of sight to the bomb. And certainly about to get swarmed. Yeah. Pretty much clinical. And uh, I'd say by the book. Almost for phase on a retake right there. Care to be able to get in that vents. He really did keep the doors open of opportunity. 12 to 10. Phase want to bring this one back. Perhaps... Ending it all here. It would be pretty wild if they are able to turn this back around, right, and get it done in two. That would be a nice little... Uh, nice little feat for FaZe. So tell me what it is that you like about feet, Harry. Well, you know, man, there's just so much... Where, where to start? This is, a, this is a topic I'm heavily invested in, Trace. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you got like toes. Yes. And then like past that, you know, oh, it's just all uphill from there. What about your toes? How they're all like kind of connected in the middle. Yeah. Well, you know, that's that's what happens, right? Um, You're like half a fish, half human. See, Harry loves feet, but I'm more of a meters guy. You're more of a meat guy. <laughs> Christ, Trace. No, meters. It's just Me like, meters. Like this yeah. Oh, you know, probably sorry, man. My hearing's been shot over this. here. Rez, he's actually made this feel doable. Oh, but then Nico's like, nah, it ain't doable. It's not doable at all. As he's put them all in the grave. Hampus, what could he do? Kirby's beneath him. Cold's outside now as well. They're all joining Hampus for a party. And he didn't want to be there. 11 on the board for FaZe now. One away from equalizing this out. You got the reinvestment coming through for an IP. Rez with almost 30 kills to his name. Hello. He's having a very good game right now. Yep. So maybe with a full buy behind them, he can find some confidence here to re-extend this lead and look to lock in that third map. That's all you can hope for. Your nip right here. And right now, so close for FaZe. Just tying this one up, getting it. You know, back within contention. The money's looking good. Buy's looking better. Threat. Well, zero dollars and a deagle. That's what we call Deddy. Nico with the tap towards outside. Rez with the response again. Ooh. Keeps on stacking frag. He's got 27 now at the end of that round because Rain takes him on out. And look at the confidence from Threat, right? Didn't grab the gun. He's pushing with the deagle. And he's trying to teach young gun Brokey how it's done. Now, with Rain challenging him from heaven as well, it's actually a very rough spot for Threat to be in, and he needs some help. Hampus here to try and lend a helping hand. Gets a bit of damage onto Brokey, but Brokey's in with the response, and now Threat becomes a bit of a liability down here beneath heaven. Whoa, oh, no, he no. saw him. He goes back in, does land the first E shot, trying Ooh. to jump in. Now, that's some okay. confidence like there from it. Threat. All right, buddy. Let's see what you can do. He's moving into the heavens. Twist is looking to commit down through secret, but Threat still living up to his name. Spots Ray, not quite the killing blow, but he's chasing him down, shooting him in the toes. And in comes the rotation from Twist. 40 seconds left on this clock. Ooh. Bomb's going to go ahead and try to go down, but Brokey's up here in heaven, blindsiding Ooh. Threat, yeah. catching him in the back. Going to try and join up with Twist now to chase down this kill at the door. And Threat looking for even more. There's still a man in heart and Cold here to deliver. It's 12 on the board for FaZe Cloud as Cold Zera puts up the goods. Why does it have to be like that? My God. <laughs> We've got people jump deagling, sneaking around, just up to nonsense. Yeah, Threat pushes them back really far. He does a great job of, like, keeping the pressure up. The molly as well. They just don't read the fact that Cole comes in on that second uh, second ramp rotate, the flank through lobby. 12-12. This was 12-8 in favor of NIP. Bit of a uh, comeback for FaZe. Can they make it or get it done in two, rather? It's a fast A play. The flash is really good. Kirby can't see a thing. Double down, and he's dropped on the site. He's actually given the gun up now as they are armed, and boy, they are dangerous. NIP five on three. That could immediately force a save unless FaZe gets something back in this round. Synergy, an all-time high here for FaZe. <laughs> Brokey going to flash him in. They go now. Two down beneath the heavens. Plopski as one. Cold, he needed the trade. Oh. Right, actually going to wreck Cold Zara. And it's all left on to Brokey. 
threat, the star of the round, man, running in with the Tech Nine. Like we spend so much of our broadcast ragged on the Tech Nine, no, no, you. and we collectively, <laughs> as three, as two, as two, as three, yeah, you and Trace, yeah, no, as Harry and as Harry. Uno, Dos, and Trace, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, you guys are pretty much thing one and thing two, aren't yeah. you? <laughs> but Threat just made it work in a brilliant way, man. He, he opens up with two Tech Nine kills to put thirteen on the board for an IP in a partial buy. Look at this. Charges him down. And that's just because the Tech Nine is just so good. All right, <laughs> that's taking it too far now. Oh, my bad. Yeah, come on. Sorry, guys. We'll keep it serious around here. Oh. Bottom right, rather a terrifying <laughs> scene. <laughs> I don't even know if that was a duck or a sheep. I don't really know. Oh, man. Oh, man. Well, welcome all deep. beings here. We're all beans here. We're all beans. Franks and beans. Oh, Brokey. What? Okay, don't know how that one doesn't connect. Brokey's been robbed. Oh, dear. And now the bomb dropped out of heart. It gets thrown into the site, but it might not even matter. NIP is still putting up all the numbers. Cold and Brokey, they're trying to hold on. And Brokey, hold on, he shall. Now they know where both these players are. Not one of them is near this bomb. <laughs> they, can, they can grab that. I mean, yeah, I thought they would, right? Like, yeah. They both just got kills, and they're still, like, worried about lobby. Like, you guys know where they are. But here they go, back into the lobby. They're checking the flank. They could even hit ramp up here. And that looks to be the aim of the game. Phase rotating both players into heaven. Going to realize a little too late that actually the A site is not where NIP Ooh. have headed. Ooh. Oh, are we having a meeting in heaven? Is that what we've oh. scheduled? Uh -oh. Brokey, uh -oh. not ready for it. Twist going to wrap onto him, but this is where Cold could do so much damage. There's the first man dropped. And now for Rez, he's like, man, how do I get into A? How do I get this bomb down? When will he realize that there is this second site? It doesn't. Oh, Cole's going down the ladder as well. Oh, this is yeah. a weird round. This is a weird round of Counter-Strike. They're flanking. Cold coming in right behind Rez, but the bomb plant's still going to go through anyway. Cold getting here very quickly, and he will get the better of Rez, winning out the 1v2. Three kills in the round, and 13 for FaZe. Yeah, FaZe are putting up a pretty good fight here, all things considered. They could actually kind of wrap this series up at some point, potentially in the near future. But then you look at Nip. Some serious heroics there. Came on down to a 2v2, and... Unfortunate for Brokey because, well, that left Cold Zera in a rather advantageous situation in his rotation. <laughs> Vibe's still good in the NIP camp, even though they lose that round. They've had their fair share of blinders. And Eco wins themselves. 13-13. Money is dire right now for either side, especially FaZe, who are just constantly reinvesting in this orb. The Util kit. Popsky's outside his cross. It's three CTs here. Brokey spam. Great flash from Rez. Nico also in position, but they've, they've let him go past. They can't stop him. He's actually run right down to B. Even though FaZe have this info that, okay, one player is lower. They can't dedicate their entire team to deal with one player, and they're going to flank lobby. In the meantime, NIP take ramp. They could just go ramp to B and win the round. Cole's got to put up one hell of a hold, and he's found the first. Looking for heads, and the bomb's dropped. Great stuff from Cole. Three on three as NIP enter B. FaZe know where this one's going. Reigns on the, uh, the wrap through secret as well. Twist is clearing things out. Rez can get the bomb plant. Plopsky has vent side, but timing as he looks away. Rain in pole position. Trying to clear this position out for Kiebi to come down, but Twist has shot him in the back, and Kiebi walks into the fire of Plopsky. Just Nico left. Falls apart for FaZe on the retake. Nico's got a save. Yeah, this G is not able to put up two, much less three. Nip putting them themselves up to 14. And potentially that third map, that coveted third map decider. You know exactly what it is, Harry. Yeah, I do. And also, for anyone who's been keeping up on our battle of threat versus Kyobi, the epic tale that carried forward from Mirage. <laughs> so that ended with Kyobi winning it out. 12 kills to his name, 11 on threat. But threat is making up for that right now. Ooh. So he is. He's saying a, is. I think he's ahead by, I want to say three, but it might be two. And so right. that, that puts him up at plus two over Kirby. So what you're saying is minus KRB, as threat. threat. Yeah. Interesting. Also, I wouldn't even be the wildest roster move of the year. That's like, that's like the, the odd thing about it. 
Well, the year's I mean, not over with yet, yeah. It would definitely maybe be that. Look at this aggro yeah. lobby push, but okay. Threat with a double, putting up numbers. Kirby taken out of the round, Nico holding on. Threat's opened it up, now it falls to the rest of NIP. The riot shotgun in this coach and try and get it over the line to 15. Nico's oh, got no. such a great timing on this vent drop. He did do it loud. Plopsky's still holding and Nico could cut off the bomb. It's about to run with its knife out and assumption that this is clear. Nico's dropped it. Smoke down. Plopsky not spotted and he's going to get aggressive. Nico not ready as now the kill gets traded back. That could have been the round in the Palmer phase's hand and it still oh. might be. Brokey's in B already rotating lower. Rez with his back up. Oh, Brokey's going for it all. He might take the one on two for free. He's so low from the spam and Rez gets him back. Oh, if Brokey took that opening kill, I do like the trigger discipline, but it comes back to bite him. I, and it's one of those catch 24s or whatever they call them. It's just one of those weird predicaments. You'd either take the shot, you don't take the shot. You might just get screwed by it anyway. And yes, I know it's a catch 22. Thank you very much, everyone in chat and on Twitter and all that other stuff. But that's Matt Point for NIP, right? This is FaZe's pick. This is NIP trying to send us to Inferno to finish the series, and they might be getting us there. FaZe Crunch Lobby. I like the pace, but denied by Threat and Co. Who's now 15 and 19, putting up one hell of a show. Eagles and a FAMAS for Nico. Not a pretty investment for FaZe. Cold's wrapped B. He's coming up to Secret. He can deal with any outside control, but the NIP are very passive in the yard. They've seen how FaZe have thrown bodies outside. Cross towards red and with a smoke down from Nico late in the round. That's going to scare an IP, but they do go here with a bomb and four. Yeah, they're cold. Be ready for peaks, that peak. He's dead. Yeah, that cold's there a peak. He's just, if he gets that vision outside, if he gets this information outside, it might spark a little bit of a push towards lobby here for FaZe. Considering they're set up right now for this inner upper hit. Might just be coming their way anyway. Ampus with the Molotov set for secret. Now this execute coming in outside. It's going to be the mini crunch. They find Nico eventually. Brokey got to deliver. Deagle out. There's one. Almost oh. a double, but shut down. Cold now arriving. Kirby, we need some heroics. We need him now more than ever. Oh, no. Oh, there it is. And there's another man back at the squeaky door. Now it's Twist trying to navigate a 1v2. Puts up the first. The 180 is close. <laughs> Cold, the last man remaining, and Twist is looking for the duel. Down through the vent he goes. Bomb on his back. Can't facilitate this B plant. Cold Zera still waiting at main. Going to start to tiptoe his way back over here towards the secret tunnel. No kick currently. Does have a flash. 74 HP. And it's Cold Zera in a one-on-one. -on -one. Twist was waiting for the secret rat before he planted, so he seems to be aware of where Cold is coming from, and he's positioning for it. Oh. Tucked in dark, Cold has to make noise. He's got to open that door. And so Twist will be able to play that bomb. It's not planted for him, but Cold doesn't have the kit, like you said, to stick. So Twist is going to go for the kill, and Cold wins the fight. That, yeah, I, I like the, the play by Twist, but he has to fight there, because if Cold just gets on the bomb, Twist doesn't know if there's a kit available, and that can just be around for phase. So Twist had to fight. He had to win it. And he doesn't. So FaZe, keep this one going. Long it on for another round. Oh, boy. Great deeks from Kierby, man. Initially missing the mark and where they were, but he does follow up and keep FaZe in this game. Yeah, Rez, 31-15 in regulation. Threat, 15-20. and 20. Threat's doing his part. Rez is just doing a much larger part. <laughs> And no one for FaZe, they lose four on that round. So, you know, it was only a force anyway against Matt Point, but now they got a scout versus the York Rez that's been firing off. Rain finds the first, Plopsky dropped in the hut. Oh, dearie me, do I smell OT? It certainly could be the case, right? That's what it's looking like, but four on five, we've seen an IP win these before. I'm not counting anyone out just yet. Hold Zera, holding the ramp room with a UMP. He's got to put up at least one here for this to be worthwhile and threat. Swinging. Oh. Twist there to trade. Very, very purposeful with how they set that up. Having threat make the first point of contact. Allowing that trade to come in. The AWP on Rez going to miss its shot on Terrain in Heaven. But Hampus has snuck up close. Yeah, this is where things start to get a little creepy. Creepy and crawly at that. One minute remaining in this round. Hampus does execute on rain. 
And he's going to continue oh, his tear. Yeah. The upper sight is just belonging to Hampus at this point. This is all but disjointed for Nip. It's just falling apart at the seams. 2v2 with 40 seconds left on the clock. Palm secured by Brokey. Then, well, Rez reemerges himself, grabs it. Oh, now Nico's trying to flank to get the bomb, but it's already been picked up by Rez. He is going to be coming in late, but NIP, they've dropped smokes in A, but really they're heading towards this B site. Nico, he needs this 1v2 to keep FaZe on Nuke, to keep the chance of the 2-0 alive. On FaZe's map pick, no less. Here's that bomb going down now. Realizes it's at this B site. Oh, well. Rez already here with the orb, holding the angle, offers up that 1v1, and now it falls to Hampus. The man who made this whole round doable with a double kill from heaven now is to be the angel of NIP once again if he wants to get them to Inferno. Nico taking his time, but time is not leaning in his favor. Now he knows where Hampus is, and Nico with the damage, not quite the killing blow, and Hampus just hiding, wasting time off the clock. Nico does have a kit, but he needs the kill. He's going to get it. The bomb is a oh, long way God. away. It's very, very oh, no. close. I think he's got it. I think we're going to overtime. And indeed we are. It's OT between FaZe and NIP. Kick it off in just a moment. We'll be back with it after the break. Time. It's going to be OT on the cards here. 
FaZe Clan, NIP, in the battle for the last place. We're going to be finding out who's actually going to be getting it, but will it happen here in overtime? Welcome back, everybody. ESL Pro League Season of 12. We are ready to get things back underway. And, of course, for us, that's Harry Hugo and myself, Trace, we are much excited to get into this action. Also, get your cat jams out. Now is the time to really, really abuse the mods and kind of, you know, explore what you can, can in terms of boundaries of Twitch chat. Dangerous game. Is time over for NIP? That's the question. FaZe are looking to make it so with a 2-0 on their map pick, no less. But Rez has been dominant with his AWP and will find the first of OT. Rain gone. Hampus low in the process. Cold is pushed ramp with the orb side by side. Brokey's going to take a shot and back off. He does get out alive. And Cold in the corner with another. Plopsky trades. And again, back and forth. So close. Two players low, one per side. The smoke on ramp, but NIP bide their time. Not going to go running anywhere. Warp gets swapped. Hampus, we know he can wield that weapon too. Haven't seen a much a much from Rez on the rifles. A welcome sight. Smoke towards the vent. Is Kiebi going to spam or bite his time? They could drop B. They might be boosting here close to the vent. Are they stuck? Are they cool? Nah, just a little... Oh, there we go. Lost. Yeah, he saw that. He knows the bomb's down a second. That's info for Kiebi. There's a third. Oh He's got everyone in the palm of his hand. He's going to fall in and take a double. Plopsky trading, but now the rotate to B is already here. Brokey is ready, thanks to the information. And that's FaZe finding their first, finding 16. I did get scary for a second with NIP, you know, struggling to even get into the vent. Ah, not a worry. Phase finding the first. NIP, plenty of money at 16k MR3. It's all good. Smoke's outside, and they're going to cross fast as well. NIP in the past have got slow and steady behind the smokes. This time they run, and they run the gauntlet rain with the nade. The spam from Nico does damage, threat dead. NIP make it down with four, but Cold's already rotated with that second orb. Yeah, and he's got Brokey alongside him. Double orb, behold here for FaZe. Cold Zara, is he about to give us a little 180 weapon switch? Full down, flick shot, maybe. This is his FaZe tryout tape. Let's see what he's able to bring to the table. Windows broken. Brokey not tempted to take a peek just yet. They're going to smoke him off at ramp. Leave one avenue open. Nico's now here as well to help out. And there's Cole delivering the first. Brokey there to help out. Does get bested by Rez, but still these numbers starting to dwindle. Plopsky with the spray. Let's get it back under control. There's a flank coming in through the vent from Kirby. And Nico's there to make sure FaZe get that sealed. 17 on the board now, two in overtime. Looking to go flawless here, our FaZe clan. That'd be one hell of a statement as well. A bit of a clawback on the CT side after a 9-6 first half. No warp this time for Rez. Back to the flat rifles for NIP. Do they want to speed it up? Twist with the fast door smoke. Brokey's he's got a shot. Hampus is gone. And what was the opening for NIP in the first round of OT is their undoing in the last. Rain doesn't realize, but the player's already out into the open. Twist just running through with this uh, flash. Threat setting him up for two. And A has been lost in an instant for FaZe. The orb rotated out after the pick. They thought it would all be fine and dandy. And it's anything but. NIP with a re-smoke. That's going to buy even more time. The spam won't connect. And this is not an easy retake for FaZe. They've got to do it through the heaven. Quite the choke point. Oh. Miss Molotov, though. That is so unfortunate for NIP. As now FaZe have been given an open path back in. Yeah, Twist trying to hold close beneath her, but he's done this a lot though, so FaZe might be ready for it. In comes this push, two out from the heavens, and Cole doesn't waste any time. Oh, Threat followed up onto, and it is just a whirlwind of death there. 
as FaZe close out this half of overtime flawlessly, 18 to their name. And now they need only one more to close out this series. Oh, where did that come from? Those rounds are so fast as well. Like those three OT rounds went faster than what felt like the last five or six of regulation. But NIP, they wanted to put a bow on it and instead it's them getting tied. Not tied up though, because 18 to 15, this isn't even close anymore. FaZe have three chances to find one round to close out this series get their first win of the Pro League as well. They may have taken maps in series, but never a match. It's now or never. Don't waste the opportunity. Oh dear. Not the start they were looking for though. Kiebi gone. Utility being set up towards the A site. Nico on the roof throwing nades, and they're gonna go back to ramp. They could get flanked. Twist is pushed in the hut, and the orb, the auto threat, mowing oh. them down. He only gets oh. one. A lot of damage done though, and Popsky on the wrap does do uh, some more. He's still alive in the lobby. Bomb going down towards B. Th both these players on 30 as Faze set up for the plant. Yeah, that's a big Molotov, but it's just not there in time. Popsky's able to escape it, finds himself in the control room, goes for oh. the kill in rain. Impressively, FaZe Clan put up 19 to 15, and that's what you love to see for FaZe. And for us, well, we go to a break. We're going to come back.